So it was about 11, yeah, almost 11 months ago that I got my cat's bearings, the leopards, and put them in my Kronos Rain hockey skates. I was immediately happy because they're super slick and fast, and after the first month, I developed no tap shoes. They did not rattle. It's quite rare that I don't challenge the integrity of the bearings. So yeah, spoiler alert, I do like the cat's bearings, but we'll talk about how much. I don't really care that much about free spin with new blades, but if after I've been hard on a skate, taken it through all the various conditions, put a lot of stress on it, and the free spin is still good, it's got my respect. So let's do the free spin test. I've been practicing. I wasn't going to make you sit through this whole bearing test, so I sped everything up, but the overall time is accurate. I did time the whole thing. I'd rather be skating right now, so thanks a lot, Cats Bearings. That's two minutes and 33. So I waited out just a little longer shooting around the neighborhood because I don't want to become too involved in this. It's busy on the cycle lanes and I don't want to add to their commute. I like to enjoy myself and have a little freedom of movement when I'm out skating. Hence not traveling on the sidewalks much and waiting for the bicyclettes to do their thing in the 5.45 to 7 o'clock hour and 15. It's very specific and unresearched. So as far as all surfaces, skating through the city, this is my magic combination. The cat's bearings, the leopards, with the 100 millimeter wheels on the Kronos Rain with the Trinity frame. It's a very chunky frame, and the wheels aren't so big that they have a detrimental effect on my stability. My three favorite skates are my Flying Eagle Drift, these and the Adapt Hyper Skate GTO, but sometimes I choose the skate with the best bearings, hence the overuse of the power slides. I'm not a bearing snob, but when you know your bearings are fast and they don't rattle, you remember it. I have even washed these bearings, and that's not something I generally do. So I, I did dress for a laid back, easy breezy skate. I didn't bring a water bottle or a backpack. I wore jeans because I just assumed I was going for a little flow skate where I would enjoy the carves and maybe go on and off some curbs here and there in some benign neighborhoods behind Queen Street West. But I do have wheels on my feet and I'm not wearing stupid shoes. Yeah, I always choose to stop in front of that nail salon. I don't know why. But yeah, I guess I'll get my nails done there someday. Yeah, this is why I don't skate on the sidewalks. But I do love the density of population around here. And there are plenty of places to skate. I don't need to put myself in stupid places like this no man's land here I quite enjoy it's not so much about where I am right now it's the time I'm here like 7 15 7 30 and beyond that is a great time to be out here yeah I reenacted my camera drop there for you in case you missed it the first time I'm having a bit of a sloppy day with this camera. So yeah, the take it easy thing went out the window really quick. I like 
getting a little speed. I did enjoy my stops on these today. It was really snappy. It was a very uh, satisfying day for me on a lot of the stops. You'll see a couple of them later. The Sky Dome has changed some lighting out there. It looks quite nice. A little more themed up with the blue. A little less gray and concrete. Nice one, ain't it? There's so many things I could do in this slanty thing to the right there. But I'm always in a hurry. And on this run, I'm really happy to see that I've got the green light. I rarely get the green light here, so it's nice to swoop down into the city. Carry some momentum and skate like I mean it down the middle of the road. Yeah, that's nice. So little traffic here. Yet it's so central. Yeah, that felt good. A little deke there. Don't want to hit somebody coming around the sign. And a steady shot of the streetcar for your cinematic almost enjoyment. That is the second time I've done that. I think I'm lucky to have a camera today. And running it out again because I know I'm on my way home. And then I get the damn light. There are so many cycle lanes for me to skate in here in Toronto, it's just amazing. When I first got here about six years ago, they seemed pretty rare, but now it's like I can get anywhere I want or within two blocks of anywhere I go by traveling on cycle lanes. It really does make me feel safe when I skate, it's a fantastic option. Thank you very much cyclists of Toronto that have worked hard for these beautiful transport lanes, cycle lanes, skate lanes, and back on Queen Street West. Don't really know what else I can say about these bearings. This video is about bearings, by the way. I like them. They're the best bearings I've ever had. That's not an exaggeration if I had better bearings than these at any point in time, I'd remember them. I used to think reds were like a nice value, but they got cheap. No, bearings don't really stick out to me. But these cat bearings, I've been in a lot of rain with them. I've tromped through snow, rolled over salt, and used them all winter, spring, last autumn, and through the red July. And they're still Immaculate. Yeah, that felt good too. And that's the kind of day it was here on the Queen Street West Side. Thanks for hanging out and roll heavy. Stay low. Yeah, subscribe too. Research has shown that people who subscribe to inline channels are happy, more well-adjusted individuals. I'm only saying.